What happens in Sugar Rush Ride and afterwards has already been told to us. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Hello, friends and sunflowers. My name is Lena, and I'm a hype theorist. Welcome back to the Theory Garden. <laughs> Before we even get to the Sugar Rush Ride music video, we already know that a lot of inspiration for this comeback comes from Peter Pan. In their concept trailer for this entire album, which also embodied the essence of its first track, Devil by the Window, we saw they used passages from Peter Pan to set the scene, with the concept photos featuring them as the lost boys who live on Neverland, covered in pixie dust. And indeed, the Sugar Rush Ride music video also takes this angle. Peter Pan is our favorite red-headed, green tunic-wearing, flying boy who refuses to grow up. And he convinces Wendy and her brothers to come back to Neverland with him, after teaching them how to fly, of course. And there they can, you know, have fun and live out their whims forever, together, without aging, because adults are awful. <laughs> Uh, we all know this story, right? Well, the cat, the devil, in the concept trailer is taking the role of Peter, beckoning them in with a temptation. For the kids in the original story, this was flight and an adventure somewhere among the stars. For TXT, it's the ability to leave responsibilities behind without losing their childhood. Just like in Peter Pan, their story has a theme of not wanting to grow up. Close your eyes, Wendy leave tomorrow behind. The cat, like the lyrics of Sugar Rush I'd mentioned, opened their locked doors so easily, which is also a webtoon tie-in for unlocking the origins of their magic and giving them massive amounts of their innate power all at once, beyond where they should have been. But the cat also makes them believe that when they step out that window, they're gonna fly. It dangles progress in front of them and coaxes them out. But if they jump out the window, they will not be flying. Flying is something you dream about. It's not reality. In reality, they would only fall. Now, people will be quick to tell me that the Sugar Rush Ride music video does not have the Star Seekers logo in the music video, the one that tells us that it's part of the TXT universe story. And they're right, it doesn't. But that's because it's not furthering the story so much as it is giving us a different perspective on the things that we've already seen. It is very TXT Universe story compliant, and even directly references things that are in the, the story, the universe, the Star Seekers, such as the questioning films, which we will get to in just a moment. So, the Star Seeker story, TXT's original story, the fictional one. It's about them being idols who can use magic, which is a thing that exists in this world, but they find out they're extremely powerful, like, like more than anyone else. In fact, they are the boys of destiny. They are the ones who are supposed to either fight or serve, depending on who you ask, the dragon of the end, the one who will bring the apocalypse, or create a new world, just, you know, depending on who you ask. And, um, they don't, they don't really want to do that. They just want to do the magic idol thing, the thing that they actually signed up for. And that's what ties them in with the theme of not wanting to grow up, because growing up means dealing with the responsibilities that you don't want to deal with. But like, you know, they start getting attacked by these people who don't want the dragon to die, and that puts them in a bit of a sticky situation. I mean, where they just kind of have to get magic faster, right? L like instantly and keep that word in mind that is where our peter pan comes in with a tempting offer so what is this offer that the cat gives them well remember how i said that this video kind of references their introduction videos the questioning films uh, specifically they're called what do you see but they are part of the txt universe story now each of their boys has their own kind of creature or animal in it and these creatures show up in the music video we didn't know it then to the same extent that we know it now but likely these creatures and animals appear because they want to embody the traits of this animal. It's their temptation. And that kind of plays a part of, of this whole thing. So let's go over each of them. Yeonjun. Yeonjun is this little grub, or maybe it's a caterpillar. We can only assume that it's on the flower he picks up here, since it looks very similar to the one in the questioning video. However, this tiny little grub has the promise to grow into something larger, something more, like Yeonjun's character wants to be. Basically just better or stronger than where he starts off 
off as. And we know that he is the one who took the first temptation offered by the cat for that exact reason. But I will say, the cat only offers it once he's backed into a corner, so he kind of has no choice. But it is the one that causes the sudden burst of magic and that affects the whole group. He drinks the sweetness of temptation in the Sugar Rush Ride music video, dips his hand in honey, something that a fully metamorphosized butterfly might drink, because he wants what he can get only as someone who has fully gone through that transformation without going through the transformation himself. Kai. Kai's animal is a gecko, and as we see here, when he taps it, it changes colors. Now Kai himself seems to change from white angel wings to kind of black dragon bat wings at some point, <laughs> although we aren't actually sure how or why this happens, but I feel like it seems the ability to camouflage himself might be important to him. But we also did see this color changing effect in the debut celebration show, where he changes the color of a fish. So yeah, it's definitely been in the works for that long. <laughs> Bumgyu. Bumgyu's is a butterfly, contrary to Yeonjun's. But I think this signals for him wishing for freedom of some sort, or the ability to help and make a difference, like the butterfly effect. Because we did see him feeling and looking pretty trapped in the Nap of the Star music video. But it's also possible that the butterflies kind of represent like emotions or something like that, like an overwhelming amount of emotions. Because uh, his butterflies are the only thing in this music video that sort of seem just like aggressively negative. Whereas the others seem to actually fall for the temptation, Bongyu seems disturbed, trapped, and overwhelmed. Also, just something I'm considering realizing this, uh, Bongyu's also a healer character, and uh, he can control plants specifically to help heal things, and butterflies are attracted to plants, right? They're pollinators. So, I don't know, it might have something to do with that as well. And later, under the tree, he seems to have a lot of different colored lights on his face, which sort of feels like somehow the butterflies became a part of him just because they're all the different colors. It's hard to say exactly, but it's possible that he's the only one who noticed his temptation for what it was right off the bat, but that he accepted it and now it's kind of become a part of himself, kind of like the process of self-actualization, which you might be familiar with, especially if you know BTS. Accepting bad things into yourself makes it easier to process, but let me know what you think about that. I think it's important to mention that even though we see a bunch of different colored butterflies for him, I think it's important to note that in the Frost music video, we see only blue butterflies bunching together, which is something that butterflies actually do when it gets cold. It basically keeps them a little bit warmer and makes them look more threatening to predators. But yeah, so Frost, cold, it makes sense what they're doing, but there's only blue. So did an important aspect get left behind? Does the blue signify magic of some sort? The ghost of Moa, Hope, if you know his true name. What do you think? Also, since he does seem to immediately notice the malicious nature of these temptations and the cat's island, does he know that the temptation is always there? Is that why he's the one who throws the lantern into the forest in the Magic Island music video? He does hold the lantern here after all. Or is it why he covers Taehyun in the can you see me music video, which is basically all about the sweet temptations that they're eating the whole time. Like everything literally goes wrong once they start eating. I'm just saying. Subin's animal is a praying mantis, which he spots at one point in the music video. I think the reason it's a praying mantis is because it seems like someone is kind of looking after him, which we do know to be Moa, because we see uh, them help Subin in multiple instances. However, he also seems incredibly attracted to the water. My first thought upon seeing this was, ah, Narcissus. Narcissus's tale is that he kind of gets tricked to going by and seeing his reflection in the water and he falls so in love with his reflection that he becomes depressed about it. He's like, oh no, like I can never have the object of my desire. And so he ends up passing away and becoming a flower, the Narcissus flower. So that kind of seems to make sense, but how does it tie in with the praying mantis? Lame Game Hero, one of my friends and a patron of this channel, brought to my attention that the mantis can actually become infected with a uh, parasite called the hair worm, which actually causes a mantis to go towards water that's like reflecting light specifically, which we see a lot of in this music video, and they end up drowning themselves. And we do in fact see Subin in the water later, which I guess could be because of this. But why would he be infected with something? Subin's character is the one that has been seeing the future of these situations for a long time. 
we were able to notice this in Runaway. But what if for some reason some of what he's being shown is actually false? Is this a hint that Subin might eventually lead them to their demise by following the refraction of the light, but not the light itself? That he too is being tricked somehow? Not just Yeonjun? Like the lyrics of Devil in the Window say, is it possible that he can't tell what is fake in his reality? What do you think? Taeyeon. Tan's creature is a parrot! I think just birds in general is kind of fine here, since in the music video it does seem to be an eagle instead of a parrot. I think it's pretty clear he values the idea of flight since he's literally levitating in the music video, and I think he likes the different viewpoint that being higher in the sky gives him. He values knowledge, and this is kind of shown with its reflecting through his eye what the, the eagle can see that he wishes he can also see. But we know that he can't always be like a bird because in the frost music video, the crows in the tree are pecking at his hands while he grasps and then eventually falls from said tree. <laughs> he can't actually fly. His wings aren't even real, because even in the Japanese Zero by One Equals Love Song music video, his wings were fake. He was never able to truly fly. And it's possible that he comes to that realization himself, because he ends up touching back down. He comes back down to Earth, to the ground, which I, I have a feeling has something to do with the next comeback. But also, it's after this moment that they kind of seem to decide to leave, so I wonder if maybe he's the leader in that decision. We aren't shown how he breaks his temptation, but uh, it's better for them that he did. Very, very better. Better. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. <laughs> lucky for the boys, that's what I wanted to say. In the choreography for Sugar Rush Ride, during the line, taking me into the dream, Tan mimics the action of the strings the cat has them on, showing that they're not in control in the Sugar Rush Ride music video, but it also calls it a dream in the lyrics, making me wonder if they realize, like, this is something that happens at all. Because in fact, they've actually called this, like, other world a dream several times in the past. Like, in one Away. Remember, when we open our eyes, our dreams become reality. A dream that becomes reality. Because that listlessness would have become their reality if there wasn't a decision made to leave it. And we do know the decision gets made. Even in the concept video, they make a decision that if they must fall, they will not do it by going through the window the cat tempted them from. But instead, they leave directly through the door. In the last song of this album, Farewell Neverland, they realize that this place of dreams is actually not for them. This magic island. To the paradise of irresponsible dreams, I'll say my last goodbye. This is no home. Even if I'm afraid, I'm going down. Goodbye, Neverland, my love. The question is, what would have happened if they hadn't given up these temptations? Now, it's worth noting that TXT does this thing where, like, especially in title tracks, where it both talks about their original story, The Star Seekers, and also emphasizes the story that the album is trying to tell us. Luckily, we don't have to guess about what the main album's theme is. We've already been told. Instant gratification. Thank you, Subin. <laughs> Instant gratification is the thing where we are so used to getting things immediately that it starts affecting our brain. Where you would choose something that is of lesser quality, but you get it faster, versus something that is maybe of better quality, but you have to wait or work longer for. And we see evidence of this exact thing immediately in the Sugar Rush Ride music video. Because this concept has even changed where Big Hit has put their logo at the end because you want to watch the music video and not their not their logo right that's ridiculous why wait eight seconds for a logo when you can just have the music video why watch through my explanation of all of this when you can just skip to the good part about takes tea story what would happen if they didn't get their temptations lena why are you teasing us but this is what i'm telling you this is txt story this is the mistake that they make in their story the one that we've already seen <laughs> And the reason why, if you've seen any of my past videos, Yeonjun feels guilty. In a moment of weakness, he takes the offer the cat gives him. He accepts the temptation that is offered to him. And they gain their power quickly. Instantly. Instant gratification. And in their alternate story, where Yeonjun makes the choice to steal money. The instant gratification. Instead of working for it. Falling 
for the temptation. They end up facing the consequences. Even Moa, their star, turns on them. Because as we're told in Farewell Neverland, the island of their temptations never actually gets to see the stars. And Moa is the star. But I want to come back to this idea of instant gratification. Because this is the story that also real life TXT wanted to tell us and wanted to share and ask us to consider. So that's why I'm talking about it. Honestly, if you haven't already clicked away from this video, I really ap I like applaud you because most people have probably stopped watching at this point. Consider giving it a thumbs up and I'll give you one too. Thumbs up! Uh, back to the topic though. Instant gratification is changing our world, and TXT's story is actually highlighting this a lot, especially when I've looked at what they've shared previously through the lens of instant gratification that they've now offered us. For example, in their story, there is this substance called black water, which is basically this like super resource that has advanced all of their technology, and is also an ingredient in the potions that helps replenish magic in magic users. And because TXT's story, The Star Seekers, has all of these different timelines, which you may have seen before, and they're often very similar to each other, where, you know, sometimes the world gets destroyed. We know the negative consequences of overusing this natural resource of black water, the thing that will get you results faster. Black water is directly connected to human emotions. When you use all of the black water, you've also used up all of your humanity, and nothing emotional will remain. Happiness, sadness, nothing. It's a cautionary tale about consumerism and instant gratitude. And it's probably something to just kind of keep in mind throughout your own day. Now, usually the recommended counter for instant gratification is delayed gratification, where you'd purposefully put off getting things immediately. But honestly, I think just being like more mindful about the things that you're doing is an easier, more realistic, and more manageable way to think about things. What is it that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life that you are doing because you get an immediate response. As this whole album highlights, it is not just TXT being tempted to stay on Neverland. It is about our real life temptations, giving into them and ignoring the more important things. It's what Happy Fools talks about. You don't want to work, only spend money and have fun doing things that you enjoy. Or in tinnitus, I want to become a rock, deciding to give up on your rock star dreams, dropping the star, the dream, Moa, and just being a rock. And I'm sure you've already figured out how Sugar Rush Ride fits into this. And it comes right after Devil by the Window, where they're sort of trapped in the world of their temptations. TXT have told us that we should be listening to this album in order. And if you ever get the chance, I really recommend reading through all of the tracks in that order and like reading the lyrics. Because as I was reading through them, I couldn't help but notice similarities. Thematically, you know, for past releases, like Runaway or Blue Hour, where the sun is setting and they're rewinding time to have fun so tomorrow doesn't have to come. They're not wanting to do more than experience the best time that they can forever and ever, over and over again. And closing their eyes to jump to Magic Island, if you've seen my theory on that, is still a recurring theme here. In the context of Devil by the Window, and perhaps all along, it is to get them to sleep and dream, where it can trap them within it on this magic island, this wonderful place. Close your eyes, Wendy. It is fitting, then, that we imagine they did, in fact, close their eyes and dream, because Sugar Rush Ride starts with them opening up their eyes. Wow, okay, you've made it really far through this video. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna speed run through a few other facts that I wanted to fit into the video, but like didn't ha have like an exact spot to like slot in and things that you might actually be wondering about. And this is like your prize for making it to the end of this video, the end of this video. I have no idea how long this is gonna be. Anyways, let's go. The music video actually opens up with a falling raindrop, thematically telling us that they're actually falling, not flying like the devil suggests. We also see they crashed onto the island and the train that took them there is lying sideways in the water. On it, it says promise, which is Yeonjun's true name, something that I definitely have to make a different video about because there's a lot of information about that. And also the number 304, which is a reference to their debut date. The fact that the broken train is in the water and it's named promise tells us that the promise the cat makes to them about flying is actually already broken. Symbolically, the forest is their dream and the beach is the closest thing to reality, which is where they cross over. This is probably the first time they're on the island since in the Magic Island music video, the tree, which looks exactly like the hangman tree from Peter Pan, looks like it's dying. But in Sugar Rush Ride, is flourishing. Also, they seem like they're still sort of just discovering things versus in Magic Island, where they seem to know exactly where to go and certainly aren't excited about making that leap. They just look 
Like they're like, yeah, we're here. In the advertising videos on Spotify, which apparently exist now, this is the first album that that's ever happened, it tells us about the time that they fell asleep, dreamed of meaningless things, thought they were flying without wings, and it turns out that they were sinking the whole time. <laughs> Nothing could actually prevent them from growing up. This is pretty much exactly what we see in the Sugar Rush Ride music video. This album also tells us that the cat is the liar. So we have that answer to the age old question. Who's the liar? Da, 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 da. That was nothing like how can't you see me goes. But like, yeah, duh, it broke the promise of them being able to fly and definitely just puts can't you see me into a whole new light. While the boys fought and doubted each other, it was actually the devil that lied to them the entire time. In fact, I think the Sugar Rush Ride music video is where they first kind of get the contract and the rush of things. The rush, cause get it, haha, <laughs> Sugar Rush. Or it's possibly also the using of the black water, which like immediately makes them feel much better when they drink it. And some people have suggested that might even be related to what we see in Subin scenes with the water. The cat also promises them in the concept video that they could say funny things among the stars. However, as I already said in Fairball Neverland, it does tell us that because it's always sunny on Neverland, you can't see any stars. Moa needs a version of TXT that did not fall to temptation because they can't go there. Once they make that contract, it might be too late. Although I will say it doesn't completely match up with what we see in the music video since it does turn to nighttime in the music video, but we don't actually see any stars in that music video. So maybe there's just no stars in the sky. I don't know. I'm going off the lyrics here, guys. TXT, by the way, have also said they wanted to tempt Moa with this comeback. So in a way, TXT is Moa's temptation. Well, we do certainly keep coming back for them. <sighs> okay, <laughs> let's slow down a little bit more here. Even though they leave this sort of tempting magic island, I don't think we're actually done with seeing the magic island. For multiple reasons. In Can't We Just Leave the Monster Alive, it tells us that the dragon that they are meant to slay comes from here. Also in that, that book, that book. Wait, let me, let me go get it. But little did we know what danger was lurking in the forest. It's a dragon. So we, we might see it again because of that. Also, internally, it tells us that the, that the deepest part of the eternal dream, which, I mean, Magic Island, is a dream. There is a sleeping blue secret, which both makes me think of the butterflies and also Moa, who we did actually first see in the Magic Island music video, conveniently in the reflection of the water, which again, immediately makes you think of Subin. So even though the stars can't be seen from that island, there's still some secrets to be found sleeping ones apparently. Is that related to Snow White? So yeah, but I am very excited to see where this is gonna go next. And like Tan has been hinting, it might be related to the ground because he kind of makes it seem like if you watch the concept video and then the pictures it, and go through the album, especially Farewell Neverland, it all talks about coming back down to the ground. So I feel like it has something to do with falling or being back on the ground. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Yeah, what happens now that they've decided to walk away? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give, you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so that YouTube tells you every single time I post a video. All of my social media is in the description down below. And I wanna give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. If you wanna become a patron, get access to early scripts, sometimes early access, and our private Discord server, the link is in the description down below below. And as it is, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay sunny, everyone. Bye!